What's up guys, it's Davey here from PhoneBuff.com and in this video we're going to be doing a speed comparison test between the LG Nexus 4 and the Apple iPhone 5 to see which phone is faster out of the two. Now both phones have amazing hardware. The Nexus 4 has a Snapdragon S4 Pro quad-core processor with 2GB of RAM while the iPhone 5 has a custom-made Apple A6 dual-core with 1GB of RAM. And of course, these two devices have different operating systems with the Nexus 4 running on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean and the iPhone 5 running on iOS 6. Alright, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first test is to boot up so we'll power on both devices at the same time and let them load up their respective OS's. And while these two are loading, I'll let you guys know that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that all browsing history and cache has been wiped. So it's going to be a nice and even test, or at least as even as we could get it. We'll go ahead and wait and see which phone actually shows the lock screen first. Alright, so the iPhone 5 shows the lock screen first. Now let's go ahead and wait and see which one actually connects to the network first. And that is the LG Nexus 4, so the two kind of offset each other, making the boot up test a tie. Alright, so with the boot up test done, let's go ahead and go on to the next test, which is the app speed test. So the first app we'll open up is going to be Instagram, so we'll tap them at the same time. And you can see it loaded up faster on the Nexus 4. We'll go ahead and exit out of here, and the next app we'll open up is going to be Facebook. So tap those at the same time. And you can see this time it loaded up faster on the iPhone 5, and now loaded up on the Nexus 4, so we'll exit out of here. And we'll open up the Amazon mobile app. And this one was actually close, but I'll give the win to the iPhone 5 because it did load the pictures first. So we'll exit out of here. And now we'll open up Flickster. And again, we saw the content maybe a split second faster on the iPhone 5. We'll go ahead and go to the box office tab to see if we get some more separation. And yeah, so this time we actually see that, you know, the iPhone 5 loaded the pictures first. So it's a clear win for the iPhone 5. We'll go ahead and open up Score Center. And again, we saw the content first on the iPhone 5, so we'll go ahead and exit out of here. And we'll open up Twitter this time. And this time, the Nexus 4 gets a win, so we'll go ahead and press home. And we'll open up the YouTube app here. So we're waiting to see which phone is actually going to load up the content first. And it looks like the Nexus 4, yep, the Nexus 4 is about done. And now the iPhone 5 is catching up, so the win goes to the Nexus 4. And our final app will be the camera, and it loaded up just a little bit faster on the iPhone 5, so the official tally for the app speed test is 5-3 to three in the iPhone 5's favor. Alright, so so far these two devices tied in the first test, and the iPhone 5 won in the second, so let's go on to the third, which is the browser speed test. Alright, so the first test we'll do is load up phonebuff.com. So we'll go ahead and tap on the articles at the same time. And while these guys are loading, I'll let you guys know that, you know, paying attention to the status bar alone isn't necessarily the most reliable indicator as far as when a web page is done loading. In this case, if you actually watch the content, you can see that the ads and the thumbnails load up faster on the Nexus 4, despite the status bars loading at the same time. So the win actually goes to the Nexus 4. We'll go ahead and tap on this article over here for our second test. And in this case, it looks like they're neck and neck. Status War actually finishes first on the Nexus 4, but if you pay attention to the YouTube videos, you can see that they actually finished loading at about the same time, so this one's actually a tie. So for our third browser test, we'll go ahead and load up Engadget.com. So we'll tap on these links at the same time. And it seemed like the iPhone 5 loaded up all the content maybe a half second or maybe even less than that faster than the Nexus 4. So the win goes to the iPhone 5 here. We'll scroll down to the bottom and tap on the desktop link to try to see if we get a bigger margin between the two. So this website has a whole bunch of content to load, so it's going to take quite some time for each device. And it looks like the iPhone 5 loaded up most of the banners and ads first, and now I got that Windows Phone 8 banner, so the win does go to the iPhone 5 in this case. We'll go ahead and tap on this article right over here for our third and final test on Engadget.com. Seeing the content first on the iPhone 5, see some banners on the iPhone 5. And just about everything is done now on the iPhone 5. So the win goes to the iPhone 5 here. For our next test, we'll go to ATT.com. So we'll go ahead and tap on the links at the same time. And it looks like it's redirecting to the mobile site. iPhone 5 is done loading, and now the Nexus 4 is done loading. So the win again goes to the iPhone 5. So we'll go ahead and load up the full site on both phones, opened up in new tabs. And so far, it looks like the iPhone 5 actually has a lead as far as loading all the content. 
and the iPhone 5 is done, followed by the Nexus 4. So that one was really close, maybe only a half second difference, but nonetheless, the edge does go to the iPhone 5. So the official tally is 2 to 1 for the browser speed test, with the iPhone 5 loading up both AT&T and in Gadget faster, and the Nexus 4 loading up Phonebuff faster. Okay, so that concludes the speed test between the iPhone 5 and the Nexus 4. Obviously, both phones are super, super fast. Both were neck and neck for most of the speed test here. But in the end, the win does go to the iPhone 5, mainly because it edged out the Nexus in both the browser test and the app speed test. Alright, that's it for me and this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And for more videos just like this, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.